Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here and I'm excited because we have a brand new stuff pack that's just come out and Danielle um, on Twitter asked if I would do a video reviewing this because I haven't had a few videos for the last few days because I'm moving but I was like yes I do have time to do a review on a new stuff pack because I just can't wait to open it up and check it all out. So welcome to The Sims 4 Spa Day. Um, basically what's going on in this stuff pack is basically you can go to a spa with your sim, you can build spas, you can get a hot stone massage, you can meditate or exert your sims with yoga, you can woohoo in a sauna, you can have a mud bath or go a bath with aromatic soaks with rose petals and beautiful things like that or you can get a hand and a foot massage in a new chair. Um, there's like so much in this that I'm really really excited to see it and this build looks pretty awesome. Um, I get jealous of the builds because I'm like, oh, I wish I got to build it and put it in the game. <laughs> um, but you can also have aquariums so you can catch your fish and put them in the aquarium. And there's a whole new wellness skill too, so that's pretty cool. Um, and if you get really good at meditation or at the wellness skill, I believe you can meditate and your sim will like lift up from this and they'll teleport to any location on the map and it'll also make all their needs happy. There's also new music too, so oh my gosh, let's check it out. Uh, what I think I'll do is let's just go into whatever game I was playing last, I think Barbie. Um, and we're going to check out Create a Sim. And uh, I'm going to review this and just tell you guys what I think. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm obviously very excited. Oh, I like this, this dropping plum bob. It's very nice, very sensual. Um, okay, the spa is now available. Okay, so you can actually place this lot in your world. Uh, I guess we should go on a big one. That's a sneaky house I'm building there for a very special simile, but that'll be released later. Um, oh, Jesus, of course we want it to be... Uh... Oh, oh, oh my. Oh. Oh, this is so funny. I was not expecting this. Like, all the sound effects. <laughs> well, uh, by the way, I have a tease, so if you guys... Oh, that was very abrupt. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I also believe that there are other um, spas in the gallery, like spa locations. I believe there's maybe four of them in your library. Okay, so here we go. The, there's this one. The Lux, the Aham Ashram, the center of center massage. <laughs> I love a good old pun. And a perfect balance spa. And uh, this is a house built, but that'll come out soon. So um, let's let's just place a couple of them. Um, so then we can just go to all of them. We'll go to this one first because I did watch a review and God, this is so funny. Um, and apparently this has most of the stuff, the new things in it. So anyways. Cheers, tea. I have tea today. Mm. This is the first video you've watched of mine. I often drink tea in my videos and I encourage others to join in as well and enjoy a cuppa whilst we relax and check out the new the new things that this stuff pack has to offer. Let's put in, what does that mean? Place lot and edit. Alrighty, so we are in the uh, first lot that they suggest you put in your game straight away after you've purchased it and gone into um, your Sims 4 program. So that's pretty exciting. I really like how they've done that, how they just say straight away, do you want this in your world? Because if you're going to buy or purchase this, obviously the first time you play it, you're going to want to see the goods. Am I correct? Am I right? I think I am. But anyways, um, this is looking really awesome. I'm already seeing some gorgeous new wallpaper. I'm loving this uh, big stone wallpaper. We've got some new windows. Um, these are looking really nice. Uh, new timber and ooh, nice one. Oh, you guys, I I'm having a moment. I just I just got like outrageously excited. Um. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. I, yeah, I love this game. I just, oh, I love it. Okay, so I just put some Sims in here and this is awesome because you can actually see the running water, these candles lit up and we can actually feel the relaxation. I feel like I'm going to play this game and get so absorbed into it that I'm like, ah, relaxed playing the Sims because this music is truly zen. Mm, beautiful. We've got a couple of nice little 
uh, thingamabobs here. And yeah, this family's actually the Loftons had they not been, um, had I not changed their hair color and this is how they would have grown up without being altered in any way. Um, little bit disappointed that this door actually has this on it because that really does, um, un actually, unless there's a different version of it, it really does, I don't know, I guess it, it, it kind of, what's the word? It, it prevents you from being creative because, um, there's a big logo on there and I don't know how many people want a logo in their house and then they'll all have the same logo, so... They should really um, opt to make a plain version of that, just so users can have full creative freedom. Um, loving these lights along the ground, that's really beautiful, and like, that's a really, really nice touch. What is this? Oh, acquired the wellness skill! What? Oh my god. Okay, so these are the new mats. I wonder if you can actually get to a stage where you, ooh, pose, side plank, where you can actually, um, like, teach a whole class. I wonder if they follow each other. I, I don't know. I Probably wishful thinking. Oh my gosh, I did this exact routine the other day at yoga. I did that pose. Oh, did she just put her shoes back on? Oh, she's an oldie, but she's a goldie. Oh. No way. <gasps> oh, I see the shining beacon of light, inner light, a chandelier. This is our first like awesome chandelier in The Sims 4 because the other ones are just that they're good chandeliers, but they're just not that good except that one's amazing. This is nice, decorative. This is what you can have a mud bath in or you can take a bath with soaks, lavender. Mm. Milk and honey, oatmeal soak, that would cost so much. Um, these are nice frosted windows. Uh, what is this? Oh, really snazzy treadmills, really snazzy thing. Uh, weightlifter. Oh. Guys, do you feel relaxed? I'm feeling, re oh my gosh, it's had a mud mask. Oh, it's not the most attractive position. Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't fall into that mud bath. I've actually never had a mud bath. Loving this. Mm, loving that uh, that table there. So we've got glowing lights behind the mirror or is this a new mirror? Okay, so it's a glowing mirror. That is going to make some homes look extraordinary glam. I just can't wait to actually see what people come up with because this is just absolutely stunning. Like I'm stoked with this. Let's have a look. Um, not so much at the gameplay, but I'm wanting to look more so at what different items we now have. So this is actually a window, technically, with nice thin slats in it. I really like that. Um, and I believe we have some lockers here. So what I'm actually going to do is just go to the side here. And we're just going to go through all the items. Uh, yeah, we'll just go through all the items. Okay, so showing all of them. And our newbies should be at the very top. I'm just double checking. Because last time I did this, I actually missed a whole heap of things. And you guys are like, like, Dally, what are you doing? Okay, so it looks like we have a lot of seats. Peaceful Proof Ottoman. <laughs> I googled Proof Ottoman the other day, actually. And um, yeah, yeah. Um, my my number keys aren't working to, to make it scroll through the colors, which is a bit, a bit sad. Is it, is it going to work now? No. Okay. Anyways, let's get back into it. So we have these lovely Ottoman chairs, which I believe you'll be able to sit on. They're really, really cool. Um, some nice swatches here. Still, I am wanting more swatches. Come on, Sims. Don't let us down. I hope I, I really hope that they do introduce more swatches, like a lot more, like I'm talking a color wheel. Um, because I just think it's so important in the game. It'd just be so disappointing if The Sims 4 never did have it. Um, so we've got these nice seats, which are pretty gorgeous. Loving them. Um, really nice to actually have a curve, a curve there. That's great. Uh, these ones are... Yeah, they're good. These will look great in very affluent homes too. Um, 
I would have liked to see different sides. Um, this is like a stone, marble, concrete looking side of the chair. It would be great to have some different colors in that. But the chair itself is really nice. And this, I believe, is the Happy Hands and Feet chair. So you can do massages on this chair. I'm not sure if that means you can do massages on every chair now, but yeah, no. Yeah, no. Um, some great stools here. I mean, stools here and then chairs that match. Um, they, they look... They look pretty solid, pretty nice. And of course we have a matching couch to the one we just viewed. Is this, what is this? Why would anyone sit on this? <laughs> I don't know, I'd sit on it. I sit on any surface that lends itself to me as a flat, sur a flat and sturdy surface. That's why I always sit on the floor actually. I work on the floor a lot. Okay, so these are nice. Um, I can see some really interesting things being made with those. And this is, this is really nice actually. Very handy. I suppose that would be in the spa room. Actually, speaking of which, how have they gone about making a spa room? Because I'm just wondering, cool new showers. Is it just one mother object or is it like you just put it in a room? Oh, no way. So you could make a huge spa room by the looks of it. That's cool. I like that. I like that um, you have full control of of where you can like put it. You can design the whole spa room, you know? Okay, so we've got some new counters. Um, I'm always really happy to get new counters in the game. And I have to say that, um, nice cupboards too, that... They're doing a good job with giving us a nice range of counters so far in the game when there isn't that many to pick from. So that's good to see. This table is looking very outdoorsy, but it's nice. I mean, you can't complain. Love this. Very nice taste. Who was in charge? Graham. Was this you who picked these? I think Graham has a lot to do with working on stuff packs. And Graham, you've, you're nailing this one so far. That's Sim Guru Graham, by the way who I've met twice. He's so awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So that, uh, that's not what we want. What? That's not what we want. It's showing me all the other stuff backs. Okay. So this sink. Oh, oh no, you didn't Sims. Oh, look at are you guys seeing what I'm seeing right now? Like, can you see that detail? That is amazing, okay? The tap is coming out of the wall, but then it's coming out of this, and then it's coming out of the wall. Like, what? What? I love this. That's beautiful. Oh, that that is something we have not seen before, and I am thrilled. <laughs> uh, this toilet, is it... Uh, I don't know about the toilet. Nah, it's it's a it's cool. It's snazzy, and this is a shower. Obviously, very boxy looking shower. Um, but you know what? I don't mind it. I would have actually, just because it is a spa pack. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this shower. It's it it's a good shower. It's a good solid shower, and I love how there's little things in it. But um, I would have actually liked because in The Sims Three the often the spari type packs, they released the showers with no shower box around it, just the shower heads like that you can make into an outdoor shower. Um, I, w I would have really liked to get that again because they're, they're always great because then you can start making showers behind windows, which essentially means you can make your own indoor shower like with two shower heads and make it really awesome. This bathtub is life. I love this bathtub. This is the kind of bathtub I'd actually have in my real future home. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I'm loving the textures too, actually. Um, yeah, this concretey texture is um, really subtle, but really, really nice. It's got that mud look to it. I think that's great. Uh, yes, this is looking like it's very relaxing. Very nice. And what is this? Oh, okay, guys. The yoga mats roll up. Surely not. Do they roll up? 
put in inventory. Okay, so when it's in the inventory, the, the image is actually rolled up, which again is a really nice little detail in the game that they they don't usually do. So um, that's really fantastic. That's really, really nice. So she'll put it in there and it's rolled up. Awesome. Nice blue socks, honey buns. Uh, very interesting. All right, continuing on. Oh no, did I just screw this up massively? Did I just do that? Oh well. Uh, okay, so we've got the masseuse tables looking very realistic. Again, oh, that's a pink one. Oh, gotta use that. Uh, con contemplation stool. So this is what you can do your meditations on. Barbie's gonna need, oh my gosh, for the Barbie LP, we need to make like a whole relaxation area for her. Uh, is this the same thing? Oh my gosh, meditation stool. What? Liquid beef bar? Go ahead and drink your beef, bro. Not for those who consume chocolate by the flabby fistful or mindlessly munch on gluttonous gluten. That is funny. So food, food in liquid form. I don't know if I believe in this liquid diet. Um trend like I get you need to have liquid sometimes if you're having difficulties with your stomach or or if you're unwell but I don't think it should really be a diet of choice surely it's not that good for you I don't know what do I know this is the aquarium which is nice and okay so this is the saunas I don't know what will happen um if it's placed outside but mist does rise up from it new boxing uh we've seen these very very this is this is a beautifully designed object that's really like i like that a lot oh no way drink tray and look at that what no drinks on it but then what can we do with it restock tray oh they're spritzing oh that is Awesome! Grab a drink. Bravo. Oh, they're all acquiring their wellness skills. Lionel Lofton is back. He's back from, uh, from heaven. From heaven. Work for Laurie starts in about an hour. Uh, okay. I'm going into LP mode. All right. Every time I do this, we get a whole new set of objects that pops up. Okay. So let's. I'm. I'm taking too long on this. So we've got these lovely stones and things uh do we have different colored stones yes perfect we've got this really cool uh box of wheatgrass i used to love using the wheatgrass in sims 3 so definitely happy about that we've got some really 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 nice plants and vases just the design of these objects is super nice uh i just think they've done such an amazing job on this like there is so much stuff like what this is a stuff pack and we've been given so much. We're really lucky. Uh, bamboo. Decals. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of decals in The Sims 4. Although this one's looking a lot better than they have in the past. I just don't like the graphics of them. Oh, wow. But I like the graphics of this. <gasps> Circular mirrors. I actually have an obsession with hexagonal mirrors. Um, I, I love hexagon mirrors. I've never had one though, but oh my. That is a beautiful thing to see in this game. I don't know why. Oh, just look at the reflections. They're so nice. Oh, I wish we could move mirrors up and down. I really do. Um, beautiful lighting behind the mirrors. This is just so nice. Uh, again, I said this in the last expansion pack, but I'm really stoked with the the graphics that are coming out in this game. As the game explores more and more textures, we just see more and more, um, more and more, I guess, realism coming into the game. Well, not necessarily realism because it, it's a life simulation game. It's not meant to be realistic as such, but just, I don't know, another... It's just like another realm of The Sims. Like it just becomes better and better with every stuff and expansion pack. And 
I'm just thrilled. Like, I think this, they're doing such an amazing job. Oh, that's pretty. We get different sizes. <gasps> oh, beautiful. We get three of them. What is this? Ooh. Whoa. It's the Bolty Bridge. If you guys are from Melbourne, you'll know what I mean. But that is the Bolty Bridge. Boy, Flagrassy just entered the room. Say hello. <laughs> he doesn't like the camera. It's okay. Um, okay, so we've got towels. Nice stack of towels. And then the clothing hook. Um, which I guess is... Just a hook that you don't really put anything on. Although we could use the move objects on cheat and hang a towel there. Uh, which I'll probably do to make it obvious what it is. Uh, we've got some more of these logos. They're really going all out on advertising. This is quite nice. This is something that I would actually probably use um, in a household. And these, I mean, if you're going to have a spa pack, you've obviously got to have these shelves with all the spa things on it. Okay, this is crazy how much stuff in, how much stuff is in this. This is, just, this is completely blown um, the fancy party stuff pack out of the water. I know I didn't get the name of it right, but really. I wonder if this object's interactive. The incense. Let's see, shall we? Shall we see? Oh, oh my gosh. Look at all the flavors. Smell the aroma. I feel like I can smell it from here. What are you doing, boy flagrancy? <laughs> He's pulling out all of his tools. Oh, he's cleaning up, which is actually really nice. I'm a terrible person, clearly. Um, all right, so what else do we have here? Wood slat rug. So I suppose you can do yogurt stuff on there. We've got another incense. And just, this is just redonkulous. It just keeps going and going and going. Like, I, I, oh, I didn't realize these were new lights. Oh, they're so that's an extra long industrial looking light. And this is what I'm pretty excited for. This is the, the chandeliers. Like, oh, I just cannot wait to make an ultra, ultra glam house. But I know I promised to do a traditional house, which I've been working on. But I just love contemporary homes. Um, these are looking pretty cool. You can make some interesting patterns with those. Uh, they just come in the one color, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. These are nice lights. Can do a lot with those. Um, Slick Beats by DJ Sudoka. Sudoka. And Good Vibrations Wall Speaker. <laughs> good Vibrations. It's a good one. Uh, Doc Sweet's Liquorm Tonic Dispenser. Mm, I want to check out these bottles. Mm, they look nice. Out of this world mailbox. Okay, so this is a locker station. I'm not sure how they interact with the lockers. <laughs> oh my, my, my. So many things going on in the background. Um, so change outfit, change into towel. So this is essentially a wardrobe, but a locker. So that's really nice that they've used that. Uh, in terms of build mode... I just want to check that I haven't forgotten anything. Packs. Uh, spa day. Okay, so I have missed a couple of things. So this is a floor decal. Just a floor thing. Illuminated Lotus. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I like it. Um, yeah, we've got tables I think we already went through them have we been through everything here I know I'm gonna miss something metal square light oh no we've already gone through that so the hooks and the lights are essentially the same thing okay let's just go into build mode and check out uh what other new things we have here okay so we've got these new is this an actual fountain well, just the stringy slab. Okay, number one waterfall. Okay, so they're all in the spa area. In terms of pools, do we have any new objects? Okay, that's for the pool floor. That's actually really nice how it's tiled like that. Um, I quite like that logo. 
And <laughs> what is this? Foot illumination system. Okay, so that was inside the household too. And these lights you can put in the pool safe. What? Really? You can put them in the pool? Well, we're going to need to build a pool just to check this out. This is the longest review video ever because there's just so much in this. I still can't believe it. Like, they've gone crazy with this. Oh, what? That's really nice. So you can put lights in your pool. Oh, oh, just, I'm a very happy girl right now. One step at a time staircase. So what's the difference with these? Okay, so they've got a nice upper single color and then the rest is... Um, a separate color. I like that. Got some new glass. Oh, thank goodness. I was waiting for another glass balustrade. Oh, wait, I think that can't... I, did that come with the update or in the stuff pack? I thought these were actually with the update. So they... Yeah, I thought they were. Um, so you might actually get those anyway. I'm not sure. But yeah, we needed a glass balustrade. So I'm so glad that they um, have been listening, you know? They're obviously trying really, really hard to keep us Simmers happy. So, um, thank you, Sims. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's just have a look at the new flooring. So, we've seen the glow floor, which is pretty cool. It comes in a lot of bright colors, uh, so you can have a lot of fun with that. And I'm assuming in the pool it might look um, nice to have some flat colors in there. And this is... Sweet. We really needed to have some of these nice, uh, more contemporary, modern looking tiles. So that's really good. All right. And then last of all, oh, before we go to doors and windows, <laughs> we need to look at the new wallpapers. And I'm glad that we got a whole heap of these. So we've got really nice stone ones this is going to be awesome in bathrooms in your builds or in just contemporary homes obviously we've got them in a couple of different orientations and yay finally big fat tiles for the walls oh i love it when tiles are big and this could sound really bad so i'm just gonna stop there um <laughs> and then we've got these Oh, that could have, uh, yeah. Um, and this is really nice. So you can have, oh, I really like this. I would put this in neutral colors in, in my own bathroom. Uh, in fact, it probably is in neutral colors <laughs> uh, with the swatches here. So, oh, that's nice. The blue and the, the more orange. I'm like, I'm okay. I'm just so happy with this. I can't. I just can't anymore. This is like, you know, when at Christmas time, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I'm, I'm always like, I won't expect anything too crazy because, you know, Christmas isn't just about presents, but let's be honest, everyone gets a little bit excited about presents. Um, but I always think I don't expect anything too big because I don't want to be disappointed. But this is like one of those Christmases where you don't you think you're not going to get anything too exciting and then bam you just get showered in gifts that are all awesome this is like that <laughs> having one of those moments uh and then we also have the glowing wall to finish off with and this is actually a really really interesting texture uh that is you know what? i'm gonna say that's actually really clever how they've done that um in terms of game graphics because it's super duper vibrant, but there's like a slight gradient. So I'm not sure if that gradient changes. I don't understand. How have they done that? I think it's a gradient, but it looks really good. Nice one. Uh, also to finish off, we need to look at the doors. Awesome. Just quickly build a wall because I can't be bothered putting on the move object sheet. Uh, Okay, so we've got these doors, which are very, very chic. Mm -mm. And big, tall glass doors. Exactly, exactly what we needed. And we've got a nice wall planter, which is perfect. Oh, did we get columns? Yes. 
You, yeah, this is totally asking to just make a crazy house build of just making it super ultra glam Hollywood home kind of thing. Uh, and then these are new windows, which we saw placed side by side. And they have a really nice bluish uh, hue to them and also several other others. Oh, woof, that black's nice. And oh no, stop it. A pink window? Okay, Barbie's house is going to be renovated. I'm sorry, the dream home has to be renovated now. <laughs> Anyways, let's finish off the video. Um, oh wait, we have to look at live play. I'm not going to go through all of... I'm not going to do any more live play or checking out the new interactions just because I'm going to explore that in my LP and this has been a very long review already. Uh, so I am going to finish off going into CADS now and if you want to check out um, more of the other features, I know there's other reviews that show it out there, but also uh, if you want to see what I think, uh, it'll be in my current Let's Plays. Okay, so let's go into create a sim. Alrighty, so we've got Laurie Lofton here. Uh, she's going to be trying out a few of the new hairstyles um, and we'll just see what they are, how they are, if we like them or not. So let's go to the Sparta game pack. I keep calling it a stuff pack, but it's a game pack. Uh, okay. Okay. Ooh, nice. This is very yogury. I like it. So we've got this in different hair colors and with the different hair colors, the hair accessory changes. And I like the green and the pink. That's really cool, actually. I love those two colors together. Uh, we've got this very OTT ponytail. Um, love it from the front. I think it's a bit much from the side. I'm not a huge fan of the over-exaggerated hair. Uh, but I do love it from the front, so I don't know. I just wish it wasn't quite as massive. I wish it was a bit longer, but yeah, I love it from the front though. This hair, oh, love it. Okay, I want to make a really classy sim with like a slicked back uh, Malfoy-esque hairstyle. That's so cool. And... I love that. That's going to be awesome uh, to make some great characters with. Uh, they're loving a lot of the shaved short hairs. We've got uh, a similar one to this that was in the Get to Work stuff pack. And yay, we have a side braid plait. Oh, that's so pretty. And I already know that that's going to be a huge favorite amongst a lot of players. Um, that's really nice. They've done a great job on that. So... Really, really awesome. Uh, I'm assuming, I can't actually go into kids right now, um, but that's gonna be the same for elders and adults. And then speaking of, of elders, let's give Lionel some awesome hair. Oh no, it's the bald patch. <laughs> oh, that's so good for Lionel. Oh dear, if you watch my Twins LP, you'll know why I find that so funny. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh no, <laughs> I can't take, I should not have used Lionel, but this is, uh, you know, a Sim could look very handsome with this. Uh, and this is the same as the female hair. And I'm glad that they've actually done it for both male and female, the same kind of hair. And um, this one too. So I, I quite like, I think that's quite clever that they've done that for both girls and boys, not that one. Uh, but that's really nice. If we go into some clothes, um, we might use Laurie as the model. So we've got some great new workout gear. Uh, but of course, the these are, oh, love that yellow. Uh, these are useful enough to be used or alternative enough to be used for other outfits. So we've got some nice crossover jumpers. I would actually like this jumper in real life. And oh, hot damn, this is very sexy. Uh, if you were doing yoga in this and you were instructing a class, I don't think anyone would be able to concentrate. Uh, this is cool. Love this. Love the bands at the back. That's really awesome. That's very Laurie too. Uh, so yeah, these are really, really nice sports bras. Working out gear. Love this one. 
Uh, if we had some really high waist skirts and stuff like that, some more high waist stuff, this would be really nice. And then of course we have the big armholes here and that's super cool. That's really nice. I'm really impressed by whoever's styled this pack. I already know what I want to put this top with. I want to take off her pants and don't worry, it's not just going to be anything inappropriate. We're just going to put on some leggings. Light pink and gray. Oh, oh dear. Her bottom's sticking out. Uh, let's put these on. Yeah, I, lo I love the pastel idea with the, the grays, the neutrals. Okay. Uh, oh, that didn't come with this pack. Apologies. I need to put that filter back on. All right, so we did have a couple of... Oh. Here we go. We did have a couple of other items here. We've got this nice logo, uh, which is metallic. Loving the metallic. Can we please have that? Can I have a special request. Can we please have metallic on furniture? Because I'm really keen for some gold furniture. Uh, you guys know how I love gold. Love it. And, okay, so we've got... Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. This can be every day, but it looks like a swimsuit with the cutout. That'd be a really annoying tan line. Uh, but you know what's awesome about this is... Can we put something on top? Damn it. That would have been really cool if we could have put something on top. I would have quite liked that. Uh, anyway, so we've got the nightgown, which... Oh! Got a message. And we've got a towel dress, which... I've never seen one of those in my life, but interesting. Interesting, of course, in a range of colors. Uh, the hot dog outfit did not come with this game pack. Hmm. And I think that's pretty much it for that. And we've got some really cool pants. Loving these. I love how they're gathered at the bottom. Loving the pastel and the gray. They've pretty much read my mind. Really nice. These remind me of like the 80s. <laughs> but they're, they're, they look like comfy trackies. These are really cool. Love these. I love I love how they're going with this transparent uh, netting kind of trend down here. Some awesome shots. Good. We needed some new working out shots. I wasn't happy with the base game ones particularly, but these are nice. And some really tiny shorts, well, basically underpants. Hmm. Very nice. We have a, probably a sports watch here. Um, so to keep an eye on everything. And then leggings wise. No, nothing there. Shoes. I would assume we have some more shoes. Okay, we have heaps of shoes. Gosh, they, there is so much in this game pack. Like, I, I don't know what's happened. Like, this is just beyond <laughs> loving the all black shoes. And these look like very relax, relaxing shoes. Uh, I, I would be very surprised if we had uh, any spa day stuff in there. And in terms of bathers... Okay, so these these are the only bathers. Awesome, but we can also make this top into a bather top, which is really good. Let's just quickly check out the guy's stuff. Lionel's gonna give it a give it a burl. So we've got just a nice working out top. His arms look really skinny right now. Oh, look at how muscly he is with Thank that. <laughs> He's loving it too. Uh, nice sports jersey. Well, not really jersey top nice zip up all basic but all really nice oh i like this i'm gonna put this on my attractive male sims they're all gonna wear this jumper i like that and woof, getting out the pecs nice he should really stand up a bit straighter i know that'll be popular <laughs> this is awesome it's a male crop top so 80s with that triangle and the rainbow palm tree love it Absolutely love it. Uh, okay, bottoms. We've got some... <laughs> Look at his stomach. 
<laughs> oh gosh. Uh, Lionel's repping these shots pretty nicely. I like them. Oh, interesting. Kind of asymmetrical rim of the pants there. Nice basic loungy pants and some really nice sports shots. So I'm glad we have more sports shots. We really needed them uh, in the game and I think this looks great. Alright, we'll quickly check out if there's any more children's clothes in a second. Um, we've got some nice new swimmers and in terms of accessories, nothing for boys. We should have shoes though. Nope, just shoes for the ladies. All right, I'm going to check out the kids now. Nibna Rancha Lord. Nina Jaza Nino. All right, so the male boy sims don't have any new hairdos, uh, but they do have a nice towel to go on top of their head, which is very, very cute. I actually do this with my towels at home, and I'm assuming the adults also have that option too. I don't think there's anything quite new here. Oh, are these new? I don't... No, they're not. They came with a different expansion pack. Starting to get confused now, we're getting more and more things. Uh, I can't actually pick out what's new and what's not. Uh, okay, so we've got this nice little zipper up hoodie thing. It's nice and simple. Uh, I'm just going to assume that they've gone definitely more out, more all out with the adult clothes because I think the whole spa theme uh, or, or spa day game pack idea is definitely more of a adult type of thing adult theme all right so that's basically it's for the kitty winkles uh we'll just double check if the girls have anything else generally speaking they will probably um they will probably do the same for the girls and boys uh, for kids so no new hair uh no new hat Accessories, no. Let's have a look at the clothes. Yeah, so same top. Uh, we've just got... Okay, we've got this cute little wraparound towel for the girls. Um, but really, that's about it. That's about it. Uh, all in all, as like if I'm going to review this pack, um, which I'm doing, obviously, I think... I have to say, I think this is extremely good value. So it's... $30 for Australians. Uh, I think it's $20 in the US. And I think it's actually really worth it. Um, honestly speaking, I think you get a ton of stuff. You get new gameplay. You get new venues already built. You get new CAS items. Uh, great clothes. New interactions, which I'm really excited to explore. And I just think um, just the general aesthetic of the pack, I'm really into it and I'm really excited about it. It's definitely... The type of furniture that I'm going to use heaps. So yeah, I think this is the best game pack slash stuff pack we've had for The Sims 4. And in terms of content, I think this even beats the expansion pack that was released too. So that's my opinion. I recommend getting it. I do. Uh, anyways, guys, I'm sorry this was such a long one, uh, but I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon.